Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to discuss about subtraction of polynomials. Remember, to subtract polynomial, change the sign of the subtrahend and then proceed to addition, observing the loss of sign. Now, let's have an example. Example number 1. 2x minus 3x. First, we must change the sign of the subtrahend. So let's apply here the KCC or the keep change change. Keep 2x, change minus to plus, then change 3x to negative 3x. As I said earlier, we are going to change the sign of the subtrahend then proceed to addition and we must observe the law of sign as you can see after we change the sign of the subtrahend we come up with 2x plus negative 3x and since they are unlike sign we are going to subtract so the answer is negative 1x or negative x in this given, we subtract the numerical coefficient which is 2 and negative 3. That's why we have negative 1 here. Then just copy the lateral coefficient. So, the final answer is negative 1x or negative x. If the numerical coefficient is 1, it's up to you if you are going to write 1 or not. Next example. 2y squared minus 10y squared. Again, we are going to change the sign of the subtrahend, but first, copy 2y squared, change minus to plus, change 10y squared to negative 10y squared. Then, we proceed to addition. As you can see, they are unlike sign. So, therefore, we are going to subtract so the answer is negative 8y squared just subtract 2 and negative 10 and the answer is negative 8 we follow the sign of the number that has a greater absolute value that's why the sign of our final answer is negative then copy the literal coefficient which is y squared so therefore our final answer is negative 8 y squared another example negative 3 x squared minus x squared so apply kcc keep negative 3 x squared change minus to plus then change x squared to negative x squared and since they are like sign so again they are same sign here we are going to add remember if the given has no numerical coefficient there is one in here so negative 3 plus negative 1 is equal to negative 4 then copy x squared that's why our final answer is negative 4x squared. Next example is 4x squared y squared minus negative 14x squared y squared. So again, keep 4x squared y squared, change minus to plus, then change negative 14x squared y squared to 14x squared y squared. So again, they are like sign, so we are going to add 4 plus 14 is equal to 18. Then, copy x squared y squared. So the final answer is 18 x squared y squared. Next example is negative 4ab minus 2ab. So it will become like this. Don't forget to put parentheses to separate operation and the sign to avoid confusion. So, in this given, they are same sign. So, we are going to add. So, the answer is negative 
a b now how about if we have negative 4a minus 2b so again apply kcc keep negative 4a change minus to plus change 2b to negative 2b but as you can see the literal coefficient in this given are not the same so we cannot combine them so the final answer is negative 4a plus negative 2b so it is the same now what if we are going to subtract more than two monomials 2x squared minus negative 5x squared minus 6x squared so same process we are going to apply the kcc so keep 2x squared change minus 2 plus change negative 5x squared to 5x squared change minus 2 plus then change 6x squared to negative 6x squared after that simplify combine first the similar term so 2x squared plus 5x squared so the answer is 7x squared then we are going to add negative 6x squared then since they are unlike sign you are going to subtract so 7x squared plus negative 6x squared is equal to 1x squared or x squared now let's proceed to subtraction of polynomials so for example we are going to subtract 18m minus 11y and negative 24m minus 7y so first copy 18m minus 11y change the operation to addition then change the sign of the subtrahend and align it to its similar term so as you can see negative 24m become 24m or positive 24m negative 7y become positive 7y and we are going to align the similar term for us to add or simplify now let's simplify 18 plus 24 is equal to 42 then copy m or just bring down m next is negative 11 plus 7 is equal to negative 4 then copy y so the final answer is 42m minus 4y another example subtract 3x plus 3y minus 6xy and 5x plus 2y plus 3xy so again copy the first given which is the 3x plus 3y minus 6xy change the operation to addition then change the sign of the subtrahend so 5x become negative 5x 2y become negative 2y 3xy become negative 3xy then simplify 3x plus negative 5x is equal to negative 2x we subtract because they are unlike sign next is 3y plus negative 2y is equal to 1y or y then negative 6xy plus negative 3xy is equal to negative 9xy so the final answer is negative 2x plus 1y minus 9xy another one 7xy squared plus 2x squared minus 11y minus 4x squared plus 2y minus 9xy squared minus x squared plus 7 so again copy first the 7xy squared plus 2x squared minus 11y don't forget to change the sign of the subtrahend then proceed to 
addition. So, next, we are going to add negative 4x squared minus 2y. Don't forget, you are going to change the sign of the subtrahend. As you can see, 4x squared become negative 4x squared. 2y become negative 2y. Next is I negative 9xy squared plus x squared minus 7. Again, don't forget to change the sign of each term. Now, simplify. 7 plus negative 9 is equal to negative 2. Then, bring down xy squared. Next, 2 plus negative 4 plus 1 is equal to negative 1. And then, bring down x squared. Next is negative 11 plus negative 2 is equal to negative 13. Then, bring down y. Lastly is negative, just bring down negative 7. So, the final answer is negative 2 xy squared minus 1x squared minus 13y minus 7. Now, it's your turn. Find the difference of the given uh, polynomial. If you are my student, please answer it in your notebook. If not, try to answer it and write it in the comment section. Next lesson, loss of exponents. Thank you for watching. Happy learning everyone.